what's up guys then my for simple snippets and i'm back with another video tutorial on quantitative aptitude now in this video tutorial we'll learn a trick to calculate square root of any number which is up to four digits in a matter of seconds so you don't need any complex calculations or not even your calculator so let's see how this trick works okay so as you can see on the screen i have calculated the squares of 1 to 10 so you need to know the squares of 1 to 10 which in most cases are pretty simple to memorize. So let's see the first question wherein we have to find out the square root of the number 3136. So let me just write down this number 3136. Now what we need to do is we need to make pairs of 2 starting from right to left. So this is the first pair and this is the second one. Now for the first pair we need to observe the digit at the units place. So this is the digit 6 and we need to observe the digit at units place in these square values. So as you can see, we have 6 in 4 square and we have 6 in 6 square. So the units place of the number which we need to find out as square root can have 4 or 6 as the answer. So 6 and 4 are possible candidates at units place of the number and for the tens place we need to observe this number 31 and we need to find out the largest number which is less than 31 so in that case it is 25 which is 5 square so the tens place number has to be 5 so we've already got the answer to our tens place that is 5 now we need to find out which number comes at the units place that is 6 or 4 so in order to do that we add 1 to 5 and multiply it with 5 that would be 5 into 6 which is equal to 30 now we need to compare 30 with this 31 number and since 31 is larger than 30 we need to select the larger value out of 6 and 4 which is 6 so the units place is 6 and this is our final answer so if you calculate the square of 56 you would get an answer of 3136. So you might be a bit confused with this trick. So let's see another problem. Okay, so the next question is square root of 5929. So I first write down number 5929. I start making pairs of 2 starting from right to left. So this is the first one and this is the second pair. For the first pair, I observe the units place that is 9. And here the units place 9 occurs in 3 square and 7 square so the two possible candidates for the units place are 3 and 7 now for the tens place we need to observe this group 59 so we need to find out the largest number which is equal to or less than 59 so the largest number which is equal to or less than 59 is 49 that is 7 square so I write down 7, so we found the tens place 7, now in order to calculate the units place, I need to add 1 into 7 and multiply it with 7. So I need to add 1 into 7 that would give me 8 and I multiply it with 7 which gives me 56. So I need to compare 56 with 59. Now since 59 is greater than 56. I need to select the greater number out of 7 and 3 which is 7. So the final answer would be 77. So this answer is 77. Now let's solve the third question wherein we have 4, 2, 2, 5. Now we start making groups of 2 from right to left. So this is the first and second group. For the first group I need to observe the units place and 5 occurs in 5 square only so this is a special case so we already found out the units place value that is 5 and for the tens place we need to observe 42 so the largest number which is equal to 42 or less than 42 is 36 so that is 6 square so we got the number 6 and this is our final answer so 65 square will give you the answer 4225 so as you can see in a matter of seconds you can find out the square root of large numbers up to 4 digits.
Now let's see the question number four, which is nine eight zero one. So making pairs starting from right to left. This is the first and this is the second. Now observing the units place of the first group, one occurs in units place at one square and nine square. So the possibilities are that the units place of the answer would be either one or nine. Now for the tens place of the answer. We need to compare ninety-eight with all these square values. So the largest number, which is equal to or less than ninety-eight, is eighty-one. That means the tens place value is nine. That is this number. Now for the units place, we need to decide which number, that is nine or one, takes place at that units place for the answer. So what we do is we add one to nine. That is the consecutive number of nine. That is ten, and we multiply it with nine. So nine into ten will give me ninety. Now I compare ninety with ninety-eight. Since ninety-eight is greater than this number ninety, we have to select the greater number out of the these two candidates. That is nine and one. So the answer is ninety-nine. So ninety-nine square will give you answer as nine eight zero one. So for the last question, what I'll do is I'll give this as homework. So just take out your pen and paper, and you can actually solve this. So it's the best way to actually practice these sums, and so that you memorize this trick. So what you can do is you can actually calculate the answer, and put it in the comment section so that I can check it out. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you understood the trick and found it cool, so that you can actually use it to speed up your calculations. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video. Peace